probably just the fact that there can be so much overlap. I thought I was a fiction writer and then I was choosing to be a screenwriter and that they were very different things. And I've actually learned that my experience with fiction writing has helped so much. And I've sort of like seen how you can integrate all these different, any kind of art form can be integrated with another kind of art form in ways you aren't even realizing. That I'm like drawing on, you know, things I've read in, in books as opposed to seen in movies and then using them to write a TV show. And that's sort of been the thing that I've learned the most and the breakthrough I've had. Coming up with ideas for girls is very interesting because it's changing all the time. So you might have an amazing idea based on your own life that you really want to get into an episode. The script is written and then the night before uh, we have to scrap the whole thing for some reason or another. So getting used, there's this phrase that's very overused in writing, you have to kill your darlings. That is something that I have definitely learned. I'll think that a line or even like a tweet on Twitter, I'll think it's like the funniest, best thing. No one will respond to it. And I just have to remember like, okay, I'm gonna learn from this and just keep moving forward. I think as a writer, the advice you'll get most often, and it's extremely true and helpful, is to write as much as you can all the time. There's no excuses, you have to keep doing it. Um, but also just to support other writers around you and like try to get that circle of people who can read your work and people who can help you with your work. And you know, just that kind of finding that core group of support, especially as a woman writer, that's been really important. Mm -hmm.